Doka USA proudly introduces Doka Flex S, the new flexible handset system for forming and shoring concrete floor slabs. Whenever concrete decks of any shape or size have to be erected quickly and economically, the new DocaFlex S is your best choice. DocaFlex S saves time and labor costs. Only one person, not two, can perform all of the operations required to use the system. There are at least 30% fewer pieces to handle, with only five main components. Setting the system to grade is fast, since it is required only once every 96 square feet. Rebar can be set sooner since plywood can go down first and intermediate props can be set later. With hole numbers on the props and four foot marks on the beams, almost no measuring is required. With only two beam sizes, 16 footers for stringers and 11 and a half footers for joists, no time is lost searching for the right part. The system adapts easily to changing floor plans because joists overlap and the props can be spaced anywhere along the stringer. The system requires no nailing. The system does not have to be set perfect and square. This makes setup simple and fast. All steel parts are moved from place to place in boxes and pallets with wheels for easy movement, speeding up the process. Basic assembly consists of setting the tripods with props and lowering heads. One person removes the tripod from the transport box, unlocks it with a hammer blow, swings out the legs and sets it on the slab ready for the prop. These legs allow flexible placement in constricted situations, such as along edges and in corners. A lowering head, which allows a two and a half inch drop for fast and easy stripping, is placed into the top of the Doka prop. The prop, which has been preset to one of the numbered holes, together with the lowering head, is placed into the tripod and locked in place with one or two blows of a hammer. All Doka props have the same high capacity at any height extension, making layouts consistent from floor to floor. The design of the lowering head stabilizes the stringers so that these cannot tip over on their sides. Installing the stringers and joists. Virtually no time is lost looking for these items. Docaflex S uses only two sizes of H20 beams. The flanges of the beams have marks at four foot on center, making setup easy. The blue ends of the beams are a special composite design, which acts as a shock absorber to provide a long service life. Tripods with props and lowering heads are spaced at 12 foot on center on the first and last mark of the 16 foot beam. Intermediate props are placed at 4 foot on center or at every mark. Stringer lines are placed at 8 foot on center or two marks apart. Doka beam forks and rolling scaffolds are provided to ease joist placement. At this point, plywood can now be installed and setting of rebar can commence. The DocaFlex S system allows the contractor to choose the grade of plywood necessary. Fine grading of the system is as simple as turning the height adjuster on the prop. Fine grading or leveling can be done at any time during or after rebar installation. This is required only at the tripod locations, one operation per 96 square feet of deck. Installing intermediate props. The supporting head mounts easily to the floor prop for securing intermediate props to the already set to grade H20 top beams. The prop handle pins are elbowed, reducing the risk of injury and making the props easier to operate. The thread geometry makes the props easier to release, even when it is under high load. The props are installed by engaging the head with a twist turn and allowing the bottom of the prop to drop to the slab. The prop is then pinned and snugged with no need to check its height setting. The elimination of most cross bracing keeps the open deck space to a maximum and allows for a safer environment with greater ease of movement. Stripping. The lowering heads of the props are dropped two and a half inches with a hammer blow. This allows clearance to strip the joists and plywood in safety. In order to directly measure how well Docaflex S would perform in comparison to Ellis Shore, we had a crew of carpenters with over 15 years of experience in handling Ellis Shore forms on a daily basis assemble both the Ellis Shore and Docaflex S. Based on a size comparison of 1,248 square feet for the Ellis Shore system and 1,080 square feet for the Docaflex S system, the results were Docaflex S yielded a 75% increase in productivity. Riding with Harkon Incorporated, uh, we just demonstrated the Docaflex system and uh, it's a great system. It's fast, simple, no nails. Uh, self-supporting and I'm sure it's going to come down as fast as it went up. Así es, este trabajo es más más fácil. 
más, pienso que se avanza un poquito mejor. Es, no, no se usan, no se usan laces, no se usan clavos y es un poco más fácil. I'm Ken Ray, General Superintendent with Harcon Incorporated. I'm impressed with the uh, Ducker Flex system. I expected it to be a lot faster than our Ellis system. I didn't expect the time difference that, that was shown here. I'm very impressed with it. The uh, number of components, the less manpower it takes to, to use the system. It's something I plan on using in the future. Phil Stevens with Hawkeye Incorporated. Uh, watching this system, it was very fast. Uh, the men was uh, very fast and quick with it for it being the first time, no nails. I didn't think it was going to be as fast as it was as many years as we've used our Ellis Shore system. But this is a very good, safe system. My name is John Galas. I'm a precision concrete out of Alpharetta, Georgia. We're out here on one of our uh, sites, which is called Brookhaven Village, using the Doka system, Doka Flex system, that uh, we've been using for the past seven years. And we have found the system to be very, very labor friendly, and cost savings uh, occur uh, against your conventional formwork. Overall, the productivity. Is, is much better, and I won't quote square footage for you because every job application is a little different. Um, the manpower uh, seemed to, to work much better than the conventional Ella Shorings, and, uh, and I know for a fact that they enjoy working uh, much more with this type of uh, uh, forming versus conventional. Hi, uh, my name is Antonio Rodriguez. I'm the president of Roger Sons Concrete. Um, we're here at the Renaissance Square project. At this project we were challenged to go through a two-day cycle and um, in, in New York City for example they use the uh, 4x4 system with posts, uh, 4x4 stringers, 3x4 ribs. We felt that uh, the uh, Doka system with the uh, metal posts, the tripods, the yellow stringers, we call them yellow stringers, so I don't know what you, exactly what you call them, but uh, were uh, a safer way to go, a quicker way to go, because when you look at a, uh, any form system, is the amount of pieces that you have to handle. And uh, with, the, with this system, it's our belief and our also experience that you use about 30% less pieces that you have to handle on any particular floor, which means labor, which means savings. Thanks to Doka's innovative engineering, you can now reduce your labor costs and time by using Doka Flex S on your next flexible slab project.